today on How It's Made. Conga drums, handmade and hand played. Metal plating, we'll uncover the process layer by layer. And buttons, a special two-part report guaranteed to be fascinating. The conga drum may be a staple of Latin American music, but it developed from an ancient African drum made from an animal skin stretched over a hollow tree trunk. Today, they stretch the hide over a wood or fiberglass cylinder. As you're about to see, making congas takes plenty of hands-on skill. These congas are made of ash, a wood that has good acoustics. That means sound resonates off it rather than being absorbed into it. First, the drum maker cuts the curved slats that will form the drum's body, called the shell. He traces a slat-shaped template on a rectangular piece of wood. Then, using a bandsaw, he cuts along the trace line, creating a curve on the outside and inside surfaces. Then he moves to a bench saw, a saw whose blade can be adjusted to different angles. He clamps the piece onto a template and angles the edge. He flips the piece over and angles the other edge. The drum maker applies carpenter's glue to both edges and clamps the slats together in a circle on a specially designed form. The number of slats per drum varies depending on the diameter of the shell. The larger the diameter, the lower the conga's sound. The glue dries in 24 hours. It comes off the form looking like this bongo shell, but taller. The drum maker now mounts the dried shell on a wood lathe. Using a tool called a wood gouge, he shears off about six millimeters, rounding the outside of the shell. Then he uses a series of woodworking tools to add decorative detailing. Once that's done, he smooths the shell's surface using three progressively finer grains of sandpaper. Then he either leaves the wood its natural color or stains it. A thick coat of oil-based lacquer protects the wood from both dryness and humidity. Now for the essential hardware. First, side plates made of chrome-plated steel. Their job is to anchor the drum's animal skin head. They're bolted to the shell. Next, the drum maker feeds a steel strip through a bending machine. Its high pressure rollers curve the strip, forming the drum's rim. Then he rivets V-shaped steel pieces onto the rim. Elsewhere in the workshop, they prepare the cowhide that will become the drum's head. First, they soak it in a corrosive bath of cold water and lime. This literally burns the hair off the hide. After two or three days, they remove the skin and scrape off any stubborn hairs. Then they stretch it over a circular frame leaving it to dry at room temperature for a couple of days. After chrome plating the rim, it's time for the final assembly. They stretch the head over the shell and clasp it in place with the rim. They hook the Vs to the side plates, then adjust the tension to tune the instrument. 
The last step is to trim off the excess skin. Now, the musical handiwork can begin.